Hi again, everyone. All right, so today's high temperature in Tyler, 90 degrees. Our average high is 92 up in Pendleton, Oregon today, 113 degrees. As they say here in Texas, that's as hot as a Billy Goat in a pepper patch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Brett Anthony says yes, that. Exactly That's exactly right. That's how hot it is. <laughs> Hotter than blue blazes. Uh, very hot up there. Kind of dangerously hot, too, in the Pacific Northwest as they continue to get these repeated rounds of heat. Who says that? I love that. <laughs> All right, scattered showers moving through Cherokee County right now up into southwestern parts of Smith County. That'll continue. We've got Van Zant County uh, on up to the north with a few showers now that are continuing to move up toward Canton at this time. And this rain here is going to move into Nacogdoches. So I'm going to show you this here on the camera. Look at this. It looks like scary looking clouds. I mean, they're not tornadic or anything like that, but they've got some low bases and certainly dark. 79 degrees right now with a feels like temperature of 82. Barometric pressure is dropping. It's a breezy southwest wind as the wind's getting blown out of those showers down there to the south. If you've got a evening sports to watch, kids, grandkids playing a little bit of sports, soccer, maybe baseball, warm and muggy, 85. Showers and thunderstorms will fade away after sunset. Low 90s here across East Texas. There it is, the Pacific Northwest just baking with once again highs 114 at Yakima. 102 at Burns, 114 at Lewiston, Spokane at 111. Underneath this high pressure ridge that's just sitting there on top of them, it's starting to show signs of breaking down as this low pressure area here starts to weaken. Meantime, this high is going to take over our forecast in the next couple of days, so we should dry out tomorrow and Thursday. And then this low pressure area is going to kind of reorganize and become a different area of low that drops through the Great Lakes, drags a cold front here, and that cold front will push all the way to the Gulf Coast by the weekend, and scattered showers and thunderstorms will form along that front Friday into Saturday for us. But behind it, a very nice looking 4th of July. So here's the weekend forecast. Showers early then clearing on Saturday will make it up to 88. Sunday, partly cloudy, 89. And Monday, which most of us are celebrating the holiday Monday, 90 degrees in the afternoon, 70 in the morning with southeast winds. So specifically hour by hour on that 4th of July forecast, if you've got a picnic in the morning, it'll be in the upper 70s and dry. Noon, 84 degrees. Fireworks should be decent with temperatures in the mid 80s. Tomorrow, hour by hour, like this, 74 at 7 a.m. on up to about 81 at 10 a.m. and then 85 by 1 o'clock with high temperatures tomorrow, topping out near 90. Summer swelter for sure for most of us. Record high tomorrow here, 105, 91 in Nacogdoches tomorrow, 91 at Lufkin, 87 at Mount Pleasant. Here's the Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven-day forecast. Very warm and muggy, 90 for the high tomorrow, then 92 on Thursday, 85 Friday with a 50% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Morning chance Saturday, then clearing by the afternoon, high the, around 88. Warm, humid for the holiday, 89, Monday up to 90, and Tuesday right around 90. Two degrees. So I don't know if that's necessarily as hot as a, a pepper, a goat in a pepper patch, but that's pretty warm as we head into the holiday weekend.